everybody welcome to Elisa's art room today we're going to be doing a essential stencil project we're going to be doing some rub-on transfers y'all come in and say hi let me know you're here we are live on Facebook if you see the little red button at the top left if not you're catching a replay I'm gonna get you guys pulled up so I can see chat Hey Dawn, thanks for letting me know the volume's good. Appreciate that. All right, let's see. So I pulled out the Halloween transfers I have because I'm working in my journal still. <laughs> They're kind of a mess, but so I still have fine packaging everything's backwards so I still have my gnomes and I figured out these weren't I was having some issues with some of these adhering and I don't know if it was my surface or what but I tried a trick and it did work um, so I will be sharing that with you just in case you're having issues um, it's the first time in three years or however long they've had transfers I've had an issue so I don't know why um, I have the black cat still. We have used these a few times, so I'm not sure I'm going to use them. But they are adorable. And then I have the cute and creepy Halloween. Now, I know these are out of stock, but unfortunately, it's what I have and I have to use them. So, And then I still have a couple of haunted house ones, um, which is called Spooky Haunted House. And I think pretty sure that's out of stock too. So most of you who have wanted to get the transfers probably already have um, got them. So, but what I'm showing you today will work with any transfers. It doesn't have to be these. Um, I'm using these because I'm working in my Halloween um, junk journals and I want to kind of finish that up and make some tags and maybe some pages and stuff. So that's what I'm looking at. Um, but anything I'm doing can apply to making a card or pretty much any other paper project. So, because I am working with papers, but you could also do it in wood. I mean, obviously, but this is just to show you something different. So let's go ahead and get the camera up top and go ahead and get started on this. All right, one second. Use my grid to tell if I'm straight. All right. All right. Okie dokie. So, first off, let's just start with the the little trick. Okay, and I had saw some people had talked about doing something similar to this, and because I'd never had an issue, I'd never really tried. But last couple weeks ago, whenever I did it before, um, I was having an issue with some of my, my gnomes sticking. And I, wasn't using, <laughs> I was using the other parts. Um, I don't know. Are you guys into gnomes? I've, I've never been into gnomes. And there are a lot of gnomes. <laughs> it's like everybody does gnomes. I'm just like, okay. I mean, I don't mind a gnome in my garden or something, you know, but that's about it. <laughs> and I'm just being frank. That, that's really about it. Um, let's see. We've got a bat here. I'm just going to pull out a few of these that I think I might use. You're not in the gnomes. The mushrooms are cute. You're right. The mushrooms are cute. I do like mushrooms. I'll probably save those for like a nature journal. Got that haunted house. That's a huge haunted house. I'm not sure I could fit it on anything. I might could fit it if I took the tree off. 
my journal, this particular journal is pretty small. It's only like I don't know, four and a half to five inches wide for most pages. So there's just not a lot of room. I want to use some of these bats in your journal, Dawn, because I need black and white stuff for that. And there are a decent amount of black and white ones on this particular set. So those will be saved for years. I might use this cauldron today, though. So I think I'll do... I'm debating on doing one of the gnomes just to show you this, <laughs> which I really don't particularly want to, but I don't know. So I did a little test on this. Now, this is just a Tim Holtz packaging thing. I save all my packaging because it makes great backgrounds for tags. Let's see. We've got a wizard. We have a little pumpkin and spider isn't too bad. I like him. All right. And then maybe a green mushroom or something. This one is stuck on here because I had pulled it off and I didn't want it to fall apart. I might actually leave that tape on there for right now. Um, so I think I'll do this one with the spider. So I'm going to do a tag. I do love doing cute little tags with these. Maybe one, is there a smaller mushroom somewhere? There's a little bitty one. Is there another smaller mushroom? Hold on, I thought I saw one. Uh, nope. Nope. All right, I'm imagining things. Okay, so that's fine. I guess I could do a, let me look at the colors. So if I put him there, and then maybe a mushroom. Mike can do it behind. I don't know if I trust doing it behind. Where's that small one? I guess I could... They, they're just angled the same way, and I hate that. Um, what if I do a purple? Is it too big? I'll bet it's too big. It looks really big. The set needed smaller mushrooms. These mushrooms are huge compared to the gnome size. Just saying. <laughs> so if I did that one, and then I put that there. So he's a little teeny tiny. I guess gnomes are sp supposed to be small, aren't they? <laughs> Maybe like that. That might work. Hey, Angela. All right, so first of all, let's talk about what I did. Let me move all this up here and get a tag that I haven't done. Uh, I might have to grab one from my stash. I need a small one. Here, here's a little bitty one. So, what I did is I just took, let me see, I need something to put down. Um, Debbie Silicone. I just took my tag, and then I took some collage medium. And the reason I chose the collage medium is it's very thin, and the viscosity spreads real well. And I wanted to keep this a really thin layer. Um, you could use anything. I've heard people try this with like Mod Podge. I haven't tried it with Mod Podge, so I, I can't really say um, because I'm not really a super huge fan of Mod Podge. Um, but you just apply a little, okay? Tap that down. And then I just took a wedge. And this one's got a got a bad bump on it. Um, spread this around real quick with my finger because like I said it's got good viscosity so it spreads real fast. And then I just tapped it down to take off the fingerprints and the lines. 
And this is just a makeup wedge. I like the, the finer makeup wedges than other sponges because they have too many, um, the gaps in the sponge are too big and that makes more bubbles. We don't want bubbles. So I did that. I feel like I need to cough. All right, I'm gonna, hold on. I don't know what that's all about. All right, so did I get, oh, there's a bump on here because it's it, I had it leaned on something. I don't know what. Um, but anyway, so I covered it. So now it's all covered with that, and then I let it dry. It dries really, really fast within a couple of minutes. So set that aside. Put that in water because I'm not going to use it anymore. So once it's dry, then you get this, and I tested one just to see, and it seems to stick fine. Um, so it, I think what it's doing is because maybe the stickiness on these particular set of transfers, maybe the stickiness isn't as good as some of the others I've got. So I think it's just helping make the surface a little more tacky without making it wet or anything like that. So we're going to put this little mushroom over here, I think. I might have it, I might have it come off the end of that um, tag a little. I can just trim it. So I'm trying not to get on the little gnome too much. So rub that down and then get your little, whatever you're using to rub your transfers on. I'm using this today because I did try it and it, it's a little firmer right there than my transfer stick is. And I did note when I did the, the bat that it was coming loose better. Um, let me try this real quick and see if I can tell. Actually, this is coming loose just fine too. So when you're rubbing it, I'm going to show you up close. Okay. Do you see how it changed colors? If you're doing it and that's happening, you know it's adhering. Um, if you're not seeing that, it may not be adhering. Not always, but sometimes. So just kind of keep that in mind. It kind of helps you to tell when it's completely adhered. Actually, this is harder for me. It's, too, it's so flimsy. I wish it was... A stiffer piece but anyway so we're gonna use my transfer stick this is just a stick literally it's a piece of wood that I sanded yeah I'm gonna try to get it to get all clear like that if I can because that's just a really good sign that it's adhering properly I'm probably gonna adhere it to my table <laughs> I'm gonna try not to rub that spot but it's already popping loose right there. Just make sure that you um, don't let it pop off all at once before you're ready. Or it won't work right. Try to get the edge of this little mushroom. Alright, I think... Oops. I wasn't going to rub there. Oh, no, we still got a few pieces right there. Let's see if I can get them to stick. But yeah, I don't, I don't know what was up with this set. Now, Essential Stencils really good about doing refunds, guys. If you have a set and it's just not sticking and you're not doing anything wrong, just give them an email, shoot them, shoot them a line. They will help you out. Um, I've had people tell me that they've gotten, you know, they, they're not going to fight with you and be like, you know, it's just you or whatever. They're, they're really good with customer service guys. Can't tell if that piece is sticking right there. Nope. So they're still, they're still fighting me a little, but it is sticking. gotta play with it more make sure everything looks white 
or opaque, I guess. I still didn't get, there's some pieces that are missing right here. So yeah, it takes definitely taking me some effort. And like I said, I've had these for at least a year. So I'm not going to try to return them or nothing. I'm just going to go f with what I have. Um, I still pay for them. I know some of you probably wonder, you know, do the ambassadors pay for them? I don't know if all the ambassadors do, but I do. Um, I do get a discount, but... I do still have to pay for them. All right, I think I got it. really close. I only have a little bit that didn't stick. So just a couple of pieces in there. But it's a rugged mushroom. We're going to go for it. So it did help some. Um, I at least got most of it off on there. And this piece can just pop off. All right. So there's that one. So we're going to hope we do okay with the rest of this. See how the little gnome does. <laughs> now you can kind of see sometimes the glue marks when you rub it. Um, let's see if I can get it to show. Like on the bat, I noticed it. So the lighting is because it's a shiny surface. Uh, I'm trying to catch my angle. Can you kind of see those marks where you rubbed around the, the bat? There's like little marks. Now, if you get those and it's not even, at the end when you're completely done, just give it a coat of varnish. Um, I usually use the Liquitex, either the satin varnish or the matte varnish. Either is fine. Um, and I just put on a coat of that and it's fine. That evens everything all out and it just, it looks better. I think I'm going to put the other mushroom on the front. So we're going to try this one here. I'm a little worried about that spot there. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to seal that spot and just see if it works. So I've already got that on there. It seems like it's stuck pretty good, but where that gnome is going to go, I'm going to tap on a tiny bit of this collage medium over that, just wherever I think it's going to hit. Was it going to hit on the bottom? Let me look. The pumpkin might hit a little. Right, right there. Just a little. Like I said, this dries super fast, so I can either just hit it with a blow dryer or just wait. I tap this down because this is really thin and it gets clogged easy, but if you tap it down, it kind of makes the liquid go out of it. All right, so let's see if that's looking pretty wet. Okay, so we're going to just hit it with the blow dryer real quick. So I can do it without blowing all of my little pieces away. All right. It's such a thin coat, it dries super fast. I'm going to put that in water just because I'm not going to get back to it before it dries. All right, let me zoom in just a fraction. Okay, try to stay in camera. Okay, so now I'm going to try the gnome over the top. And I know I, know I said I don't like gnomes, but I'm just, I'm just doing this one because this is the only one I was having issues with. If I look at the back of it, it looks normal sticky. So I don't, I don't know why. So weird. But anyway, I'm trying to hit those spots where I put the glue. About there. That center sound pretty good. Okay. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. All right. Rub that down. Trying to get most of it to stick. Like I said, 
this is the, the main part I'm worried about where this other transfer is. Because sticking transfers on top of transfers is sometimes iffy. Um, just because I don't know if the surface is just too slippery or what. But it does a lot of times have issues. This thing is totally just popping off of here. So you really have to hold it in place. <laughs> I, I kind of hate showing you this because I don't want to give it a bad rap. But on, I, I promise you all, this is the first time I've had an issue. Um, and like I said, like two, three years, however long they've been doing transfers. So I, maybe when it was shipped, it was really hot. Yeah, who knows? So many factors. But yeah, it's turning white, so I know it's coming off of there. I am having to rub pretty hard on this particular one. Usually I don't have to rub this hard. See, it's already releasing. I don't think I'm releasing on this mushroom, though. Doesn't look like it. At least not all of it. Let's see, is it releasing down here? I can't tell if it's in a spot where I put the glue or not. I might have missed it. Now I'm just gonna peek. Oh. I'm gonna try to peek. It's not, it's not sticking. All right. Well, it will maybe not be on the mushroom. Perhaps not. I wish it would. Oh no, it just doesn't like that surface. I'm really gonna rub it hard and see if I can get it to go. Oh, pumpkin stem. Hey, little pumpkin stem. I can tell you're not sticking. Huh. Okay, we'll come back to you. The rest of this pumpkin. Almost. Oops, don't go sideways. If you grab the edge of your transfer, it'll pull it up. Gotta be careful. And what else is missing? I'm just looking from an angle because I can see it better. Let's look at it. Let's see what we got. I feel like that pumpkin stem's not stuck. Oh, his mouth isn't stuck. Okay, Mr. Mouth. Get on there. And also, by, when I'm done, I will put the finish over this, the varnish, so it will help everything stick in place, too. I tend to do that most of the time. Now, if I have a surface that it's just really stuck to really good, then I'm not going to worry about it. It does help. Kind of evens everything out because the transfers are rarely the same sheen as everything else you're working on. It's not too bad. Oh, there's a lot there. Okay, now I can get that spot. It's just this mushroom part. Can I get you to go on there? If I get this guy to work, he'll just be a tag. It will work. Oh, he's still not stuck there. It just doesn't want to release there. Let me try the edge of my orange thingy. Let's see if we can do it with that. Maybe a little bit. pumpkin stem is stuck at all. I don't know why. There's nothing there. Alright, we're just gonna... I think I might have to give up on that spot. It's just not... I'm trying everything I have that's really strong. Point. Like, using this metal tip. It did help a little. If I can get it stuck down enough to varnish it, I'll be good. I feel like his face is iffy. Right, 
faces on there. The pumpkin still never stuck there. The hand's not sticking where the mushroom is. Now it looks like it's coming from behind the mushroom. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's not a big deal, but not what I wanted. Yeah, no. All right, stem, are you at least stuck? All right, so we can see where I'm having troubles in a couple of spots. All right, not ideal. It did help some, but I still had issues where the um, mushroom was. <laughs> His hand looks like it's behind, which is fine. But yeah, you can see there's there's still some holes. So still having some issues with this set. I don't know why. I'm about to give up on it, honestly. Should I try this other mushroom just because? I don't know. Probably not. I know most of it's not going to stick, so I could try putting it on this edge just to get it on here. So we're just going to move it over to the edge. Get my tape off of there. I'm just going to try to catch it on the edge here just so there's something there to kind of round it out a little bit. Oops, don't pull the whole thing off. That's why I hold it with my hand, because if you catch that edge, it will pull your whole transfer off. So try to catch, not to, you know, pop up on the edge when you're rubbing. It's so easy to do. <laughs> it really is. I love rub on transfers, but they they are definitely a learning curve. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I think they're a learning curve. Just because there's so many things that you got to think about as far as surfaces and I do. <laughs> yeah, that's just not sticking at all. It's already moving. I'll try to get it to stick, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Okay, I give up on that one. Yeah, that's, that's just a mess. All right, so it's grungy. We'll give it that, but yeah, it's not ideal. Um, will I still use it? I could grunge it up and use it probably if I really wanted to. Um, it is very grungy looking. So just because I will probably, oh, how wide is that? Let me look at my book here journal see if I have a page that will even fit in because honestly it's a big 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 piece which I wasn't worried about because honestly I was just trying to do a test but um, this is full guys I'm really down to the nitty-gritty on getting this guy done he is just overly full can I fit it on a page I could fit it on a page as a flip I cannot fit it in a pocket. It's too wide. And I didn't want to get rid of that edge. I like the edge. Um, so I will probably just do it as a flip and cover this with something. And I'm just going to grunge it up so that it fits the theme of this a little bit better. Because um, right now I don't feel like it does. So let me find something to paint on. I think. Do I use a silicone or do I want to use my Tim Holtz mat? I think I'll use my Tim Holtz mat. I, just, I don't want to clean off paint off my desk. You bought two more and they were fine. Oh, I missed something. You the same problem did. My sunflower set was perfect and no issues with it. And then you said you bought two more and they were fine. I do know at first, and maybe that's the issue, when Essential Stencil first started doing the transfers, um, they were using thinner transfers, the, the rub on part. And I am thinking that that was the issue. And maybe I have one of those very first batches. Um, and that's why, and I could probably just return it, but I'm not going to bother because like I said, I don't really like gnomes that much. So it's not really a big deal to me. It, knowing me, I probably got it in a bundle. Um, so I'm not going to bother, but maybe that's the issue. Because they said they fixed that. 
and I did notice that there were less complaints and stuff and everybody seemed happier so I'm gonna assume that that was the case let's just grunge this up a little bit I'm just gonna use some paint um, and grunge it up a little we use some browns maybe so a little bit of real brown this is folk art matte multi-surface satin paint because it will go on plastic glass wood paper pretty much anything what are colors do we have in here there's some greens Let's start with the browns. What else? I gotta put another color. Maybe the green. Let's do thicket. Now what is this? This is sap. I have thicket or sap. They're almost identical. Either's fine. Let's do sap. Alright, and then I'm just going to grunge this with a sponge. I think I'm just gonna use this little sea sponge. This is just a piece of one. I should put gloves on, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> so it's gonna get all over my mat, but I can clean my mat later. But I'm just gonna give this a bunch of grunging. Just to kind of make it make sense. Oops, don't drop your sponge. right over a lot of this even up in here a little okay and I'm gonna wash this and switch oh I didn't put much water there I don't know if I have enough to wash it let's see get those other sponges out I only put a teeny tiny thing of water because I wasn't really planning on doing much and needing water but I changed my direction so wash my sponge and then I gotta dry it so I'm just washed it and dried it real quick just so it'll still kind of work because it needs to be a little firmer it works better when it's firmer and I'm gonna do this green just to get some extra color in there put some of this at the bottom if grunge isn't your thing this won't work for you but you know I think it is fine maybe throw some of this in through here we're just really grunging it up to kind of camouflage the fact that this isn't ideal. <laughs> All right. Is that enough? I think that's enough. Well, maybe a little right there. I'll go back into the brown because I don't want the green there. So I'm really just kind of real light now. That's not too bad. I'm okay with that. Okay, so wash that. Just don't leave paint in your sponges, guys, or it'll ruin them. All you gotta do is rinse them. You don't have to use soap or nothing. They, they wash real easy. Okay. Oh, let's see. Hey, Nancy. Trying to see if I missed any comments. Don't think so. Okay. If I do miss comments, guys, I go back later. All right. So there, that is that. It's, it's looking grungy. We'll give it that. And then we are going to, um, I will let that dry and put a varnish on after. I'm not going to do it right now because it really needs to dry a little bit more. Um, but I will coat the back with something. Let me, where's my wet one? There it is. I'm just going to wipe this off real quick so I can put it away. Okay, doke. Let's jump over to another. I'm going to let that dry for a minute before I try to do the back because I don't want to mess with it. Let's jump over to something else. So, I want those little cute guys. They're so cute. Oh, where are they at? Honestly, this is probably my favorite set of this bunch. Well, I don't know. The cats, the cats are close too, but this is, I just thought this was adorable. Let's see if we can find a good place for this. I've used some of them. Let's see what's this. Probably gonna save the crow for, oh my gosh, release. Oh no, my spider leg got in there. 
you got to be careful when you feed your transfers back into your plastic bag it will catch on your other one and you can mess them up so usually I'll cut them up and put them in, in a folder but I didn't do that so what happens is it just catches that edge and then goes up between and it'll mess up your transfer so do be careful doing that I was not careful Luckily, his little leg seems fine. All right, let's find a page for this. If I can't find a perfect page, I've got some papers to put it on. So let's see. I know I've got a bunch of stuff in here that still just needs some filler. I was going to do an owl there. I could do that. Mm. I might do the owl. I need something there. I want there's this is an owl pocket page I was going to do. And there is an owl on here. I got two, three, I got three blank pages there. This is a good color. Let's do something there. Just, it's going to be just decor, guys. Most of these I'm just doing this decor unless I do a tag. And then it'll be ephemera. But some are just to look at. They're just pretty additions to my journal. And then we'll jump over to the, oh, what time is it? Yeah, well, I can do it. Okay, we're going to do this page, and then we'll jump over. So I'm going to put something here. Let me pull this out. Turn that sideways, so hopefully I can figure out. I just need to mark this, because I don't want to get the wrong side. Where's my pencil? All right. I'm just marking the side I want, the top right. So I'll get it turned around. Set you aside and pick a pretty one for this one. Was there any, what's on the other page? Let me look real quick. Nothing, nothing yet. So, all right. Um, like I said, I'm going to use the owl somewhere else. Where's the other page of this? Oh, there it is. We got ghosts. We got cauldron. This lantern's really cool. The potion bottle, of course, is really cool. I probably have a sticker that would work with the potion bottle or the, that cat's so cute too. I love cats. I will use him somewhere, but he's small enough for a tag, so I might save him for a tag. I think I'll put the lantern there. I think it'll fit. I do think it'll fit. Let's put the lantern, just because it's bigger and this is a bigger spot. Scissors have ran off. There they are. So I got, this is really close. I'm going to try to get in between there and leave a little bit of room. I like that they use up every bit of space, but ooh, sometimes they're so close. I don't know if I want the moths, but maybe. I might, moths are drawn to lanterns, right? So I may add moths. For now, I'm gonna put this on here, so I'm gonna flatten that out. Got my little, that's gonna be a pretty little addition. Now, this is just cardstock. It is 65 pound cardstock. Do you make sure you're in the right spot before you drop it? Because you get one shot. One shot, and that is it. Let's try to make sure. You like where it is. I'm trying to line up the bottom because it should be straight on the bottom. It looks crooked here, but that lantern, I have a feeling, is straight if this is straight. Okay. So we'll get that down. Let's see if we have better luck with this one. So guys, if you need to purchase any transfers, the ones that are in stock, my code is Art Room. Make sure you use it so you can get your 10% off. And then I have a little thing here somewhere. There you go. For those who don't know, the link and everything is in the description of this video. Like I said, I am an affiliate, so I do get a small commission if you use my link. 
Oh my goodness. My table is just wobbling so bad. Now this should adhere properly. I shouldn't have any issues. It's not turning white, but I don't think it's one of those that's gonna. I'm mostly worried about that little spot there. And then any little teeny pieces. Tendonitis has really been acting up, guys. I don't know if I've just been doing too much fussy cutting or what. Probably. It's been giving me some issues. How are we doing? Should just about have it. Quick rub over and then we're going to start from the top and work our way down. Let's see how we look. So, we're just going to grab a hold of that. And I'm looking through it to make sure it's clear. If it's clear, you know it's stuck. If it's not clear, it's not stuck. So, just peek through as you're going, lift it slowly. so good. All right. That's it right there. I'll see, I'm not sure if I even hit that spot. So. And I'm just using my fingers in between to just kind of lift it gently. rub down before I do this last little bit and we are good nice clear panel now sometimes this will leave a little bit of a white film and that's not a huge deal especially because I can varnish it if I need to but because this is grungy I don't really care but sometimes it will depending on the paper so I'm just going to kind of rub that white area in just I don't even know if y'all can see it on camera honestly but I'll try to show you can you kind of see it it's real light it's real subtle but I am just gonna just hit it a little bit just trying to kind of camouflage it good and then I just give it a little rub over that's cute right I like it all right, let's see what we have. I'm going to erase that little mark before I forget. So I will sure enough leave it there. There. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to put something on here. A label? Words label? Something fun? All right, let's see. Words. Where are the words? Happy Halloween, no. Random die cuts. Dark Academia, maybe. I'm trying to remember which ones had words. I've got so many collections sitting here right now. I know some of them have words. Mix potion bottles, bats, owls, dark academy, maybe. There's some words. And not specimen. Maybe, but probably not. Sorry, it's in my folder, which is off to the. It's not on my table right now. All right, I think these are the ones I have. Let's see if we have a word that will make sense. Let me go here. This is some frames and mushrooms. We don't need that. 
This looks like poison mostly, so probably not. Maybe this one. We have Wicked, Ghostly, Beware, Wicked, Bewitch. I should save that for like a witch or something. Maybe Beware. Although it's very cute. <laughs> it's, it's a little cute, but We'll see. We'll maybe do that one. Maybe something else. But beware. Hmm. I'm going to keep these two out. I'm still thinking. Is there anything in this set? Oh, yeah. Some people are just magic. Let's be spooky together. Chill left to us part. Welcome mortals. Most of these are kind of small. So probably not that set. I never have enough labels. I think these are mostly pictures. I'm pretty sure these are mostly pictures. Yeah, these are all those pictures I lost <laughs> that I found. In here. Mm -hmm. Nope, I'm not seeing much in the way of labels. Alright. We're going to go with Beware and Wicked. Because honestly, it seems to be all I have. Which is surprising. So, I think I'm going to do both. I'm trying to see in camera, guys. Oh, yell at me if I get off camera. I kind of like it like that. What if I put a little bat or something there? Maybe not the bats. I don't trust those bats. Maybe a, a moth. That's right. We were going to do a moth. Let's put a moth there. That'll round that edge off. Put that little moth there. Could have just done it at the same time, but that's okay. I want to check the size. Let me look at the size. It's a little big. There is a smaller moth. Let's see. Where's the smaller one? I feel like that one might be a little bit big. How about that one? Yeah, I like that size better. Alright, let's set that aside. Let's add this little moth. This could just as easily be a card. If you guys don't journal, I know not everybody does. Um, I was in journal for years and now I've gotten back into it, but it is so much fun, especially junk journaling. I really do enjoy it a lot. Um, but I mean, this would be an adorable card and it's already like almost there. I mean, think about it. If you're going to give it as like a Halloween gift to somebody. Be super cute. I think that's it here, but let's take a peek. I don't always worry about the antennae. Got it. Give it a little rub. So I'm going to grunge these up a little bit with ink, stress ink and hmm, I think just vintage photo. I know I have a new one of these. Is this it? I thought I had already switched it, but I guess I didn't. Here, hold on. This dauber has had it. It's got chunks out of it. It's too old. If I can get my little label off. Without it sticking together. All right. When they get chunky, let's see if I can show you. 
Ah, lighting. Do you see how chunky that is? Look at that. It just looks awful. When it gets like that, throw it away. <laughs> get yourself a new one because it will just crumble everywhere and get pieces all, all over everything. Now these sometimes have these little like edges where they've popped out. If they do, just you can grunge up the edge. Um, just give it a little sand just to kind of get rid of those little bits. I just, I don't like them. You can use that Tim Holtz one too. If you don't have just regular sandpaper, this little guy. These discs are sold separately. And they're just, they're approximately, hmm, we'll say about 200, 220 grit, if I had to guess. But they're great for grunging edges and sanding. I do like it because it's, it's just a convenient handle. Crunch it up a little bit before I ink it. Right. <laughs> it says ten thirty one. That's funny. I hadn't noticed that. This one says 1313. So they all have like spooky numbers. Spooky Halloween related numbers. I honestly never noticed that. Alright, there. That's funny. Okay, let's glue that on. And this page will be done. And I've, I've slid down again. <laughs> I'm going to zoom out, guys. It's so hard because... I tend to want to be closer to my body, and if I have the camera zoomed, I tend to get out, out of camera. You love journaling too? You scrapbook? Yeah, I never got into scrapbooking. Isn't that funny? Is it so similar? I didn't. I, and I had a bunch of stuff um, because my daughter was given a gift with a bunch of scrapbooking stuff, but she didn't want to do it, so she gave it all to me. And I've since she just used it in my junk journaling, but I never used it for scrapbooking. There. Cute. That works. Yeah, when you think of scrapbooking, you think of like, I don't know what, 80s, 90s. <laughs> it was a thing for a while there. All right, there we go. So that, like I said, you could totally make this a card. Um, but we're going to put it in our journal. So let me grab my journal. Find my page again that I have promptly closed up and lost. I don't know where I stuck it. It's not there. It's behind me. It's behind me. There it is. This goes around this. Make sure I'm in the right direction. And that goes in there. So we've got one more page done. Yay. Let's do the owl and then we'll call it quits. So I'm going to do the owl because I wanted to do that owl. It might take me a bit. I really need to be done by six if I can because I got to cook dinner for hubby before he goes back to work. Unfortunately, he's doing all kinds of crazy hours. So I'm gonna back this. I may not do it on camera. Um, I'm gonna it's still falling apart. I'm gonna back it with just some cardstock or something, and then um, I'm gonna varnish the top of this because this transfer is just really not great. And I have a feeling I'm gonna be have issues if I don't varnish it. So I'm gonna varnish that, and that will be done. And I will probably use it in this journal. If not, I'll use it somewhere. All right, let's see. Owl. So I had a whole bunch of owl ephemera, but I was looking and I saw that owl and I was like, you know what? I could totally stick that owl on here because this is going to be a flip out. I think this page, let me see. 
I stuck it here, but I'm not 100% sure I want it here. I think I do, but it's, it's flimsy. But typically when I put this over like this for a pocket, typically I will back this with something anyway. So chances are this will become firmer later. Now this envelope was folded right there. I refolded it because I didn't want it quite that wide because of this card I was going to use inside. This is a graphics fairy um, image and I just wanted it to to peek out. So that's going to be my tag. I just got to back it. Actually, I might make it a little bit wider since I'm going to back it, but I don't want it to come over anymore. I don't know if I'm going to back it. It's already just barely showing. Yeah, I'm not going to. Okay, so it's going to stay there. So this is just a reminder. We're going to put it here. I think it's a good spot. This is going to go like this, and it's going to flip out, and the little owl is going to go there. So I'm going to get the owl on there first. So let me just mark this with something showing me the top so I don't get confused. I'm just putting a little arrow up there. All right, and then let's see. Let's put a little paper clip or something there. So I'm going to set this aside for now. Okay. So these are just some bits and pieces that I thought I might use from, they're mostly from that book I had, that Gothic book. I think that's what almost all of those are. That's obviously a Tim Holtz label, which I might use for the tag. And then these are just also Tim Holtz things. They're just, they're from that cigar box, but it's a cigar box that says the owl something, the owl, oh, the owl cigar. So, because it said owl, I was like, you know, I might use that. So, this is going to be my flip over part, which doesn't really need anything done to it, but I won't put that little um, guy there. So, I think I'm going to just fix this edge. It's a little crooked right now. I'm debating if I just want to add a piece or if I just want to cut. I think I just want to cut it. It's kind of crooked because I just chopped it out of there. So let me just throw this in here. Oh, I can pull this out now. I'm going to throw this in here so I can cut it. Just make sure I'm not snagging on anything. I just want to trim this a little straighter. And I'm going to bring it all the way down since my fold is like right there. Just trim that real quick. Try to get it straight if I can. That would be ideal. So I'm put it on my grid. This is on my grid. And then I should be able to stay on this line and be good. I know I can't see the line up there, but I can kind of guess. Alright, so I'm going to cut it there. Like I said, I'm going all the way because that's where my fold is. And then that little piece will come off. But now I've got a much straighter edge. Looks better. If I can find where the stick stuff. All right, let me chop that off. It's going to fold over. I don't really care what this looks like, although I might just go ahead and straighten it up. It probably isn't going to matter because chances are I'm going to cover it, but you never know. I might not cover it. I might leave it. It's one half dozen the other, honestly, so that just needs to be long enough to catch the edge of the page. We'll go about here. Just take some of that off. All right, let's go with that. And we're going to flip it, look for my little arrow. So that's the top. Grab my little owl, because he's adorable. 
90% sure he's going to fit. If he doesn't fit, I'll figure something else out. But I think he will fit. I haven't cut him out, so it's hard to tell. Sometimes you can't tell until you cut them out and hold them over. I could measure it, I guess, but I'm too lazy. Artists don't measure. <laughs> you have tons of stuff. Oh, I missed something. Oh, yeah, you have tons of stuff. I'll bet you do, Don. Oh, is this little thing going to fit? I think it's going to fit. Just barely. It's close. It's really close. I think it's going to fit. Yeah. Okay. Whew. I, I might put a word there. I'm just going to bring it down just in case I do. All right. Let's go for it. So this is, it's been coffee dyed, but I think it's fine. I don't think there's any like particles of coffee or anything on there. If there were, I'd probably sand it just to make sure, but I don't feel any. Sometimes when you coffee dye, you get that little bit of grit. So if you are using a coffee dyed piece of paper, do watch that. All right, let's see if we can hit this right. I get one shot at it, so. Try not to touch. I'm looking at the bottom, and I'm looking at that tassel because I really want the tassel on there. Gotcha. I've got the whole thing on there. Amazing. All right. I was seeing if it was putting marks in my acetate. If it looked like it was, I would throw that mat back in there. But it doesn't look like it is. It's not a big deal. It's a crunch. It's a grungy journal, so I don't really care per se. But if it was really marking this up, then I would definitely throw something in between there. And hopefully this will stick to this surface just fine. not releasing easily. So I'm going to give it a little more of a rub. Okay, there we go. Tassel. Good. Tip the hat good. Tassel. Yep. Okay, so far so good. So cute. It looks great with that coffee dyed paper. I like it. So the Alscar. I could use that for a label. It's I know it's not a cigar, but you know. It looks old timey and I think works. Is it being on the small one or the big one? Three sizes. That's really small though. I think this one. So maybe this. I said, doubt I have another word that's going to work, honestly. I just, it's possible I might somewhere, but who knows where. I feel like I'm missing some labels. I don't think I have any in my label. That's true. I did make a label pack. Let me see if there's any Halloween ones in there. I don't think there I haven't got that label pack out in forever, guys. I almost forgot I had it. <laughs> Where is it at? It's behind me. Hold on. 
I, I went to so much trouble making this thing, but and then I forget to get it out. This is a just an ephemera holder for labels that I made out of plastic sheeting things. So I've got lots of stuff in here. Oh, here's a whole Halloween one, right? No, yes, no. Oh, I thought it said ghost. It says lost. <laughs> ghost on my mind. Good dream, bright photo, wonder, brave. Nope, this is definitely not Halloween. Put us back in there. We got harvest October. This is fall. More fall. Pumpkins. Nature. Just notes in general. Country and farmhouse. Magical, serene, blooming. Any magical? Hmm. Possibly. Do you like the hour or magical? We're going to stick magical there. Enjoy the little things. Life is an adventure. Enjoy nature. These are more fall ones, but there is a, there's a trick or treat, a pumpkin, apple, harvest, a trick or treat. Hmm. Not really. Oh, here's some more. What do we got here? We have Haunt, Candy, Rustic, Potion, Spooky, Halloween. All right, there's there's a few labels in here. I totally forgot about these labels, guys. I made them, I think. No, where did I get these? I bought these. Where did I buy these from? I got them off Etsy. I'll have to look it up. I don't remember. It's been too long. What's this? No, those are sweet. Okay. So for our little owl, we have, what is in here? We have potion. I think that last one is flannel. Usually I can get my tweezers in between there. Usually. There. Is it flannel? What is it? Get out of there. Oh, it's fireplace. Well, I guess that makes sense. All right. I really got these kind of shoved in a really tight spot. We have spooky. Spooky always works. So these are like little dictionary um, sayings. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure I got it off Etsy. We have haunt. What else is in here? This is the right size. Haunt isn't bad. Possibly. Y'all like any of these? Y'all tell me. Rustic. I think these are all rustic. I get that last one to show. Show. Oh, it's golden. What is it? Golden apple or something? Golden something. Just golden. Well, it's not really golden, so. Dark scarecrow. It's not a scarecrow. Although, I, do we have a scarecrow? I think I already used the scarecrow. Hmm. I'll have to keep that in mind. Halloween, of course, works because it's Halloween. If it's not too big, do I have a smaller one? I may not have a smaller one. Will it fit? It's real close. I don't think I have another Halloween one. Let me look under here just to be sure. Oh, I do. Okay. So those are my choices. We got... Oops, stuck that in the wrong spot. And I'm all behind. Okay. What was on the other side? I'm just... Oh my gosh. Hayride. Are there pumpkins in this? There are some pumpkins. So, my choices are pumpkin, Halloween, spooky, um, haunt. And was there something else? Oh, just magical. So the smaller Halloween, this one's too big. And then the pumpkin one was, there. All right, any choices? Uh, call 
cauldron, no cauldron, okay. Yep, those are my choices. I'm glad I found those. Hmm. Okay, um, I'm just going to give you all a second. If not, I'll choose. I do like magical. Um, I'd rather save it, I think, for something that looks more like a you know, magical spell or something. But And then, of course, I have this Al Cigar one, which kind of fits, too. Magical Halloween. So both. Can I fit both? Not really. I don't think I can fit both, Don. Are you just saying choices? Maybe you just meant a comma there. <laughs> I'm guessing you meant a comma. All right, Halloween. Hmm. I do like magical. Gotcha. Um... I'm going to do magical because the colors are better. Um, honestly. That's my main reason. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. I'll use these somewhere. I might even use some on the other side. But for right now, we'll do this. Let's grunge it up a bit. Some ink. Got the right one? Yeah. I could even it out. It's kind of crooked. Huge deal, but why not? So we'll crunch that up a bit. Okay, and we'll glue that right there. That'll work fine. is in your dominant hand. Cute. Totally missed that corner. Oh. Every time. I don't know what it is with corners. Always miss the corners. Okay. Cute. So, we gotta do something with the front and our little card. This is going in, so we, it needs like a pull tab, and I'm, how much room do I have? Ooh, I should have brought that down a little bit. That's okay. I think I have room. I wanted to fold this over. It just, it works better if you fold it over. Um, I think I have room. I meant to leave myself room to fold it over, just a fraction. Just because it, it's easier to get tags in and out when it's folded over. I'm just kind of catching that edge. Normally I would go down a little bit further than this. Oh, is there acetate? Hold on. It's glued to. All right, we're just going to fight with it. There's a little bit of acetate right there, which isn't ideal, but I can make it work. All right, so I do that. Yeah, I even got it kind of even. <laughs> kind of. A little spot right there. I always try to line it up, make sure it's somewhat even. There's a bump right there. What am I getting? I have no idea. I'll try to squish it down. Now are you even? Yeah, now you're even. Okay. Now I'm just going to glue that in place so it doesn't come off. It just like I said, it's, it's strictly just to make it easier to get my tags in and out. It, just, it makes that, that gap just a little bit fatter. Can't tell if I got glue on there or not. I think I did. There. Better. All right. Make sure my tags still fit. Should still fit. And then that's 
just going to be attached to the page, so it's not in the way. Um, this could be sealed. I don't think it's necessary for it to be sealed, but maybe it is. I'm going to seal it. So this is just going to be the pocket for, for this card, which will be the other direction, but so I've got that little bit of room there. Now I could try gluing it right there, but I have a feeling it might interfere. So what I'm going to do is add a little piece right here to glue to this flap so that I can bring this edge all the way over to the fold. Okay. And we we'll use, some of you have seen me do this. Some of you haven't. I just need a piece of paper that's similar to this, which I've got a whole scrap of them somewhere. Random pieces. Thread, thread, bits. Nope, nope, nope. They're here. There they are. Okay, my little random bits. These are from various coffee dyed pieces and envelopes. Some are from envelopes. This one looks very similar. It's from some envelope. So we'll use that. In there. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna cooperate, are you? Right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this. Oh my gosh, stomach. I'm so sorry if you could hear my tummy. So this is going to attach inside, not outside, but I'm just going to give enough room right there. I need a pencil or something. And just above the edge because it probably won't go all the way down. Okay, so we're going to attach this to the back of this first. And it's probably easiest, honestly, just to throw some glue on this edge. It's just a little, it doesn't take too much. Just enough to catch that edge. Okay, and then I want that fold to be where it's supposed to be, so I'm going to use it this direction so I can see, get my fold in the right spot. Now my fold's in the right spot, so that is where I want my glue. Remember, this will be stuck to a page, it's not a big deal. Put my glue there. This is just a good way to expand a pocket like this. And that gets glued to that. And now, our glue starts over where we want our glue to start, and it does not interfere with that pocket opening. Okay, so there's that. Now we've got our little pocket, all good. What time is it? 5.20. Oh, I'm doing better than I thought. Okay, so we probably should back that with something just to make it stronger. And I thought that's cute for a tag. But I'm thinking I might throw some of these little owl things on here. I'm thinking I, I thought about surrounding it, but I don't know if that's overkill. It might be overkill. Do I have a picture that could go on this edge? That one's too big. Have that little one there. Oh, it's just a whole bunch of owls. I think I was thinking about using it for a tag. I have this little owl. This is a barn owl. Will he fit on the corner? I think he will. All right, so maybe put this one here. And then maybe this one at the top. No, let's just put it there. I'm still thinking about using this. Oh, that's also a bar now. We're not going to use it though. I think I want this. Oops, backwards. I can put 
that there. I'm just debating what I want there. I feel like I had something picked out. Maybe I could use one of these labels and move. Maybe I should put this there. So then I could put this. Hmm. Gosh, maybe I'll just put them both at the bottom. I wasn't going to, but I don't know if any of these will fit. I did have smaller ones. Is it necessary? The color's not terrible. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Where'd my labels go? Let me see if I have a smaller one that makes sense. I don't think I had an owl or anything. What else could it be? Owl, flowers, dark, spooky, rustic, haunt. Maybe. Ghost, darling, potion, glove, apple, harvest, cider, autumn, hayride, rustic, crisp, pine leaves, auburn, spooky. There's so many. Um, it's not, I don't know if it's Halloween-y enough. I feel like it's not Halloween-y enough. That's not really a word enough, but we're making it a word. I don't have owl. I have deer, squirrel, butterfly, bug, no owl. That's okay. We're just going to use this. All right. So I think I'll use this medium size. All right. So I'm going to put this here. Just because I'm going to use it. I don't know why. Put this here. Should I tear it? I should tear it. All right. Let's try to tear it. No, it's really tiny. <laughs> That's going to be challenging. No, we're gonna we're gonna fake tear it. This is what I call fake tearing. I use my scissors and just kind of chomp it up in lots of directions. Let's see if this is too wide. Yeah, maybe I come over a little bit more. And above its head there. Sure, my camera. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna take my sandpaper, wherever it ran off to, and just catch the edge. Usually, I do this on a piece of cardboard. Let's see if I have something. I'm just catching the edge of that so it looks torn because the scissors don't particularly look torn when you do it that way, but if you sand the edge then it looks more torn. Okay? So there's that piece. I should probably do the same thing with this guy. Just so it fits in there better. I don't know if I want all that stuff at the top. Yeah, no. I don't think I do. I'm just going to take just this bottom part. Do it on the floor. I did. Catch the edge. And you can ink or not ink. Sometimes the white edge looks better than inking. Is a little, it's a little more grungy. And I will ink it just because. Okay, that's 
good. Shall I ink or not ink? Let me see. No, we'll ink. It looks good. Looks good inked. Also, this vintage photo is a little closer to my coffee dyed envelope. So it helps it blend better. Where's that other piece? There it is. Gotta figure out what I'm gonna back that little owl with. I need to back them with something. Alright, let's start gluing these on. Lost my glue. I don't care if it goes over the acetate a little. That's fine. It's here. Good. And then our little Allen. Just the right one. This looks too long. This isn't the right one. Is it? No, it is. Okay, I had another one sitting right there that was almost identical. Okay, let's try to center it, kind of, sort of. Good. Okay. Now, we got to back this with something. I don't think that needs anything else. Okay, so I thought about putting the labels. Honestly, I just don't see one that works. So we won't do those there. What else do we have? Anything that would work there? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I almost feel like it needs more, but sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Where does this go? Uh, I don't know. It goes in the Tim Holtz pack, but I don't even have that out. Let me grab it. Ideology. Layers and dolls. There it is. Okay. There might be something in here. I don't know. I doubt there is, but I mean, it would have to be something really. Either long or I doubt there's anything in this. There's a 13. I don't know what that number is doing in there because it's not supposed to be there. Supposed to be somewhere else. Condemned. Yeah, there's nothing in here small. I do have some snippets. Halloween potions snippets. Number strips. Oh, bats, owls, and butterflies. Let's see. Maybe. There might be something in that one. Let's see if any of these work. Alright, we're just going to throw them right here for a second. Tim Holtz snippets. So we've got to back that. Right, I do have bats, owls, and butterflies. From Timmy. Let's see. We have this owl. Would have been cute. I don't know if I like them with all the other stuff. I'm not sure. I do have quite a few owls in here, though. Is it too many owls? This one works good. I mean, it is owl themed, so it's going to have owls. I think all the rest of these are butterflies and bugs. No bats anymore. It says bats. There's maybe that owl. That is cute. It is cute. I do like it. I'm just going to use it. Do I have anything long I can put there? Let's see. Maybe a snippet. 
this one. I have a whole thing of numbers somewhere. Let me find them. Got lots of like formula type things. This one's got a date. Let me look at the, where's the number snippets pack? Number snippets. I just saw you. There you are. What's this one? I get these all confused. All right, we're gonna pull this back in this because otherwise I'm gonna get, actually I might keep one of these circles. It's not bad. I do like that ghost train one too. These are too light. Okay, we'll keep this out. Put these back in the Tim Holtz Halloween one before I lose them all. Because <laughs> I will. And then get our numbers one out because that's got lots of them. I'm sure I can find something to stick there. I don't want the 13, I don't think. I want something long. Ideally in a color that works. Boy, there's so many in here. Title 5. 59 yards. $2. I kind of like that color. Possibly. I was trying to see if there's any with orange. I would love to get just a drop of orange. That's just all orange. We don't want that. That's too much. What's this one? There's one. Like that. That's got just a little bit of orange or red. It kind of looks orangey. Maybe something there. Maybe a circle. I had this one circle. What was this circle? No, that's too big. All right. Maybe a number. Peace. <laughs> There's just so many. It's a little overwhelming, honestly. What's up with that? I don't know what's up with that. That's kind of weird. Come on. You know, there's a little one in here somewhere. What's that one? Is that the same? It's totally the same as that one. And what's this? 2425? <laughs> no. Postcard? No. I could cut one of these if I find something that looks decent. Figure 110. I'm just trying to fit something in there. Maybe that. I just feel like it needs something. So we'll put the eye there, we'll put that there. I think it's too big. All right, let's see if I can get these back in here. Okay. That works. I think that's okay. It's popping up on me. I need it to lay flatter. All right, so I want the green under, I think. Uh-oh, Dawn said, I like that one, and I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> uh, that always happens because it's delayed, or I don't see it in time, and then I'm like, I don't know what you meant. I could have inked these, but it's okay. What did you like, Ductopholy? I hope. I'm going to ink this one because this one's a little... Where is my ink pad? Oh, there it is. This one's a little plain. Needs more grungy. The owl you're keeping. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm going to 
sneak him too because he's a little bit of a white edge on him. Is it? Ooh, we're getting close. We're almost done now. I think I can make it. Try and get this somewhat straight. All right, come here, little owl. Whew, I am sweating. <laughs> it's got my fan going, but I think because I'm trying to hurry, I get the adrenaline going. Yeah, now I gotta fold it because I can't see where it goes. I think there's fine. Did I get your ears? I can't tell. Nope. A little more in your ears. Really, ears are tough, so I guess, but we're calling them ears. Okay. There. Now, I still gotta back this. My area is getting very messy. Very, very messy. These were big enough. No. Okay, we're just gonna get some lined paper or something. So good lined paper that might be heavier would be ideal. Do I have anything? I don't know, probably not. I have coffee dyed paper that looks a little bit small. I'd rather have something heavier. Uh, it needs to be browns. Does a scrap? Sorry, I'm wandering around my room trying to find stuff. I have this. This will work. I think this is strong enough. I printed this. Feels like a cardstock of some sort. All right. So this is a good color. This is from Line Dot Arrow. We're just going to back this. Just a very simple backing, and I'll cut it out, and then I'll put that little ticket taggy thing on there. If I can hit the card with the glue, that would be awesome. So I'm not getting it all over myself. I can stay on the line, but sometimes I just really am horrible at it. Like now. Okay. Not the best cutting job. But sometimes your scissors will just grab that top piece and follow it perfectly. And then for whatever reason, sometimes it just does not. <laughs> it's just not following it. I'm cutting everything that I'm not supposed to cut. If it were dry, I'd probably try to put it in the cutter, but it's not dry enough, so. I can do it this way, but I can't put it in the cutter and cut it. That's just gonna give it a little bit of a backing, which we will ink. could still be written on. It's it's light enough it could be written on. I'm 
Like I said, this paper is from Line.Arrow. I believe it was called Vintage Book Pages on her Etsy shop. I'm pretty sure that's what it was called. I have it written on my last live on YouTube. I put all the descriptions and things that I use on my YouTubes. I don't tend to put them on my Facebooks because it's just not a great place for them. But if you ask, I will look it up and give, I'll answer you. So there's always that. Check on just a little bit. transfer. He looks adorable. I'm just going to grunge it just a fraction. Not that it needs much. All right, we need a little tab on there. What do we got? I had this one. I think it'll work. I think the color's good. Okay. If I can fold it. It's, it's, it's very hard. I'm going to try to score it. Because I don't know if I can fold it without scoring it. I have a feeling it's just going to not cooperate. So we're just going to try to score it somewhat in the middle. Trying to find the middle from 12. What would the middle from 12 be? 14 and 10. All right. Okay. Oh, where's my score, you think? I need to have it on here and I don't. Oh my gosh. You're bright green. I should be able to see you. There you are. There. It's going to stay. Oh, it didn't rip. Yay. <laughs> Still didn't get it straight, but it doesn't matter because you can't see the other side. Alright, put this on there. Centered. Said you can only see one side, so as long as it goes low enough, let me make sure. Yeah, we can go lower on this side and then higher on this side because it's not even. So yeah, I could put it like that. Okay, that'll work. Go lower up. I'm hoping this sticks out of my little pocket far enough. Ideally. I'm trying to I'm trying to get it kinda centered. I think that's centered. That's the hardest part, isn't it? I'm making it really tall because like I said, it's gotta stick out of that and I have a feeling it goes in pretty far. Hard stock, so giving it a minute. All right, let's see what it looks like. Is it gonna grab? What is it hitting? What are you hitting? You're hitting something. Ah, what are you hitting? Hitting the fold on the envelope because it's inside. This fold is inside. I should have made sure it was glued down better. I hate when that happens. All right, so here's what I'm going to do because it's hitting that. <laughs> uh oh, am I going to do this or not? I'm. I want to put a little piece of something in there. I just don't know if I can get it in there. We're going to try. How wide. You can't really see, but inside there, there's, there's a lip from the envelope. And it's causing my tag 
not to go all the way to the bottom because it's hitting it. So what I need to do is get a piece of paper. I'm trying to find something flat. Get a piece of paper in there. Gosh, I need more light. Let me see if I can see in there. I just want to make sure I'm far enough down. Okay, I am. I think, I think I'm all the way down. And I'm going to glue this paper to this. This is a very haphazard way to do this. Normally I would do this before putting the envelope in here or closing the envelope up. I would have caught it. I just, I did not catch it. So this is really the only way I can do this. And I just want to make sure that it glues to this top edge most. Okay, and I'm going to close it down. This should work. <laughs> it should work. Okay, and then just got to turn that off. Ideally, I would prefer it to have a fold. I just don't know if I can do it with magical there. I'm going to cut it and see first. If I can, I'll do that, but if not, it's fine. I just don't know if it'll look good. It could be done. Having a fold just gives it less things to catch on. Yeah, I'll just go all the way over. Okay, I'm just going to put it over the top of that magical tag because it's just safer. Anytime you glue an edge like that and you're putting a tag in and out of it, you can catch that edge that's glued. So it's safer if you fold it. There. Okay. Now our tag should go in <laughs> without hitting. Yay. Now it goes in. All right. So that's how you solve that little problem. Ideally do it before you close your envelope, but that, that worked. It also gives me a prettier background, too, so. All right. Do I want to do anything with that tag? I'm tempted to round it. I'm not sure my rounder will work on it. Mm, it's very thick. I'm not sure I can get... No, I can't get in there. Okay. We're just going to do it with scissors because it, it just looks a little bit weird. I'm just going to round it just a little. These scissors are overkill. Why would you grab the big ones? I don't know. What time is it? Ooh, I only got 10 minutes. So I'm just rounding this just because I think it's going to look a little bit better. Try to get it kind of sort of even. I like that better. Okay. Now, let's grab our journal page so we can see what it looked like. Get our glue lid back on before I forget. Wipe the glue off my fingers. Okay. Journal page. Where are you hiding? Uh, I have no idea. There. So this goes on this page like so. We're just going to bring it down because I've got the tag and everything. So we're going to glue it on this side. The glue I just put the lid back on. <laughs> oh my goodness, seriously. Now I gotta check my fold again. Just gotta make sure your fold is in the proper spot. It's going. All right. I've left that lid off way too long. Okay. 
fold it down, make sure everything works properly. Seems fine. Got a little bit of ooze there. I want to make sure that's not there. So if I have ooze there, it'll stick to my page. I don't want that happening. So I only want it to stick to the back. Lovely. Put a little tag in. seats much better now and we got a little owl on the other side and we are done we are done I might do something with this page later um, underneath but not today that is it that's how you can use a few transfers um, I like it I think it's cute made a good addition to our journal and then we have the other page we did was it in this one I don't even know maybe Maybe not. Where was it? Was it in this one? I'll find it. I don't think it was in this one. Oh, it was. Okay. So we have that one, which is cute. And we have our little L flip out. Okay. So that was today's projects. I hope you guys enjoyed those. I think they were fun. And remember, if you need to purchase transfers or stencils or anything else from Essential Stencil, use my code ARTROOM, get you 10% off. All right, guys, I will be back tomorrow for the vignette at 9 p.m. So if you're watching me do the Halloween vignette, join me then. Until then, have a good one. All right, bye-bye.